my craft and decor friends, welcome back! I'm Shell and today you have another special video to improve Barbie's dream house. I'm gonna show you how to make a super neat kitchen with everyday materials. So if you want to have lots and lots of fun, you have to watch this video till the end because it's gonna be incredible! You will need cardboard boxes, long straws, wooden sticks of different sizes, plastic containers, earphones that aren't working anymore, plastic beads, a plastic tray, luster paper sheets, an acetate sheet, acrylic paints, fabrics, and glitter foam. We'll begin by making a cute little stove for Barbie. Grab a cardboard box that opens up like this. We'll get rid of this part to make the edges super smooth. To make all our furniture extra stylish, no one will be able to tell it's made out of cardboard. So let's line the inner part with a piece of luster paper that fits. And then line every side of the box with the same paper you used. Fold it like this to make the process faster and easier. Fix it in place with a glue stick. Let's open up a rectangle here to resemble the oven that comes with the stove. Measure it with a ruler. Once you mark the measures, trace the rectangle so you can cut it easily. The space you leave uncut should be about a centimeter long. The open square for the oven should look like this. Now let's give it some color. We're using metallic silver acrylic paint for the inner part. It looks like real metal, guys! This part of the stove looks weird because we didn't line it before. Let's trace the frame of the square, this time in a piece of white glitter foam. We need a window for the oven so we can see what we're cooking, so cut a piece of acetate. It should be the same size as the front side of the box. Paste it with a glue stick and above it attach the glitter foamy frame. Stack about 7 wooden pieces together for the base. They are 12 by 12 centimeters long. These will be used for the base and the top part of the stove. Now we can paint it all! We're using a chic tone of blue. You can pick any color you want. These will be perfect for our dollhouse. Now we'll make the stove burners. Just grab an acetate sheet. This one is 12 by 12 centimeters long. We're using tape as a stencil to draw the circles with a permanent black marker. Let's use a ruler to add some details to make them more realistic. This step was super easy, wasn't it guys? All of the pieces for this stove are done. Now let's pile them up and assemble them like this. Did you know NASA uses microwave technology for communication in deep space? How cool! Now let's add the details to make it more realistic. First, grab two wooden sticks and paint them silver. Ovens need a tray on the inside to hold the food. Grab one and cut it with your scissors. Remember it must fit perfectly in our little oven. In order for the tray to stay in place, it has to be supported by both of the silver wooden sticks, one on each side. You can attach them with clear glue. It should end up looking like this, guys. So realistic and cute at the same time. Now our stove only needs the buttons and the handlers to be complete. For the latter, we'll use super thin wooden sticks and transparent plastic beads. Place one transparent plastic bead on each side of the sticks. And don't forget to paint them, we're giving them a pearl white finish. For the buttons of the stove, we'll use teeny tiny white plastic beads. We'll attach them with the glue gun, be super careful with this step. Look at their handles! We'll place one at the top and the other at the bottom of the stove. This is how it should look like with all the details. The lid opens just like a real oven. Barbie's having chicken for dinner tonight. Our next piece of furniture will be a sink with a pair of cabinets for our kitchen. We're gonna need two cardboard boxes of the same size. They must be wide enough to contain shelves. So let's start by cutting out these flaps. Our cabinets must have 11 centimeters in height. So grab your ruler, mark slightly and use your cutter like so. You can also use your ruler to make sure you cut it out perfectly straight. 
look, this is one of the flaps that we cut out previously. We're gonna use it to make the shelves inside the cabinets. Just stick it in like this. Fix in place and trim off the excess. And for the back part of the cabinet, we're gonna use a piece of thick cardboard and we're gonna touch it with some hot glue. Then, do exactly the same with the other box. This is what the two cabinets should look together. We're gonna touch them later on. Now, we're gonna give them some color using some of this Arctic White acrylic paint. Here we have stacked seven layers of thick cardboard, just like we did with the stove. Now, we need to grab them with some of the same luster paper we used before. Then, we need to give it some color. This pale rose acrylic paint is gonna make our kitchen look pretty neat. Make sure you spread out the paint evenly. And here we have a piece of styrofoam. We're gonna grab an empty yogurt cup and we're gonna trace the bottom of the cup on the styrofoam with an ultra thin point marker. And being extra careful, cut it out. You can use a thin cutter like this one to do it easily. It's time to assemble our sink with the cabinets. First, let's put them over the base and fix them in place with some glue. And before we can attach the styrofoam surface, we need to trace the hole for the sink and the cabinet. Then, let's cut it out with our cutter. Be careful whenever you use sharp tools, guys. Next, we're gonna paint the top part with a little bit of pale rose acrylic paint. Don't leave a single spot unpainted. Then, grab the empty yogurt cup and cut out the bottom part like this. We're gonna touch this small piece we cut out from the cardboard with some hot glue. This sink is gonna be really awesome! And, to make it look super realistic, we're gonna paint it with some of this cool metallic silver acrylic paint. Then, we're gonna paint the styrofoam piece with some of this lovely mint color. How cute! Next, we're gonna make our cabinets look super classy with small pieces of white glitter foam. Just place them on top of the shelves like so. Our cabinets are almost ready! We just need to make two slight cuts on each of these flaps for the doors to close properly. Now, we can place the cool mint surface and the sink. Fix them in place using a little bit of clear glue. To make it look even more realistic, we're gonna attach a few clear foam pieces at the doors of the cabinets and this thin strip for the gap. And for the cute knobs on the doors, we're gonna attach some of these tiny plastic bits. How adorable! For the faucet, we're gonna use these earphones that don't work anymore. Let's cut out the cord and remove this tiny rubber piece. And let's paint it with some metallic silver acrylic paint. This is gonna look super fantastic, guys! Here we have a bendy straw, so what we're gonna do is stick in the earphone to make the faucet. Now let's paint it silver and the faucet will be ready! Our sink is almost done! We just need to attach this plastic bead for the knobs and it will be ready! Look guys, our sink looks super neat! Time to make a super sweet dining table for Barbie and her sister! So let's start by painting white this rectangle that we made with some stiff cardboard. Then, let's line our table with some of this cute white glitter foam. Cut some thin strips like these ones for the sides. For the legs of our table, we're gonna need four large squares of styrofoam. We're gonna make a slight cut and fold them in half, just like these guys. Then, we need to paint them white. We're also gonna line the legs of the table with the same glitter foam we used previously. Look, this dining table is gonna be super neat! Let's assemble it with a little bit of clear glue. Let's add a super cute detail. We've made some lovely tablecloths using some of this cute furry fabric. They look simply unbelievable! Now, let's make some chairs for our table. Grab an empty joker cup and trace the back of the chair and the seat part with a marker, just like this. Then, cut it out with your cutter. This dining table is gonna have a super cool retro look. Now, grab the seats we just made and trace the bottom part at the back of this pink furry fabric. Then, cut it out with your scissors. We're gonna give our chairs some color with this lovely mint acrylic paint. This dining table set is gonna be pretty awesome! 
We got this super fluffy pink fabric to make our cushions. One for each chair. Let's attach them with our glue gun. These chairs look so comfy and cute. Grab your wooden sticks. We need at least three legs per chair. Then just paint them with the same acrylic paint you use for the chairs. This shade of blue looks super chic, don't you think? Once they're painted, just attach the sticks with some more hot glue. It's all set, friends! Here's our super chic kitchen for Barbie! Here's the dining table set, the ultra-realistic stove, and the oven, and of course, the sink and the cabinets. Tell me in the comments below which piece of furniture was your favorite. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more amazing crafts. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up! Don't forget that we love you so much! Bye-bye! Woo! <laughs>